you're going to want to put um, a base primer all over your eye. Um, I'm using the uh, base in the uh, New York Colors Individual Eyes Palette. Um, it's just really easy to get to and what I have right now, so that's what I use. So you're going to want to put it all over your eye, all the way up to the brow, uh, down below, and some on your eyebrow as well. Make sure you get it out to the side of it too. Next, you're going to want a, if I can find it, a um, angled brush like this, um, and an orange color. I'm using the Coastal Sense 88 Original Palette. Um, the orange that I'll be using will be this one right here. Um, and so you're going to want to start with that, with your angled brush, and do kind of a cut crease. Just following the natural shape of your eye. And then, when you get to about the corner of your eye, you're going to want to take it and curve it up towards your brow. And it should come out just a little bit past it. Like so. Then you're going to want to take the same color still and start at the corner of your eye and do kind of the same thing but go downward. Like so. It should about meet up. Or not meet up, but be about the same length. Then, still with the same color, you're going to want to take it and draw a curve in from each of them until they meet in the middle to make like a fishtail. Then, for the tail, you'll want to use just like a small rounded brush. Um, and fill in the tail with the orange. Just kind of like dab it in there so that it gets a nice dark, bright, whatever uh, pigment to it. using either the same brush or a sort of big fluffy one, fill in the whole part of the fish here. Um, I'm impatient, so I use the big fluffy one. If you want, you can still use the same brush, or if, like, you don't think your hand is steady enough to keep it inside the lines or whatever. And just fill it in like that. The next thing you're going to want to do is taking the angled brush again, you're going to want to get a red. And the red I'm using is right here. It's like a really, I don't know, it's actually red. It's not pinkish or anything, so I like this color a lot. And you're going to want to take it and reline your cut crease. I do have a quick warning. Um, as you can see already, this look is going to be very hard to get symmetrical. Um, and as I see it, that's really not too big of an issue. Because to me, it's kind of like they're kissing fish, in a way, when this is done. Um, so I don't really feel there's, you know, any problem with that. Then, after you've got your cut crease relined, you want to go ahead and take it up above the wing 
and reline the top fin and then go ahead and line the bottom one as well. But only the top of the bottom one, I should say. Sorry. So it looks like that. Then you're still taking the angled brush and the red and you want to blend in some red on the tips of the fins. You're going to want to take your fluffy brush again. Um, if you didn't use it the first time, you do want to use it this time. And you want to take a yellow. I'm going to be using, if I can hold this, this one right here. And start by dabbing it on the very inner corner and kind of blend it out into the orange to give the fish a more gold-orange look. I'd say stop about halfway across the lid and then come back in the corner and make sure the corner is more yellow than orange. Just by dabbing it there. The next thing you're going to want to do is with the angled brush again, you're going to want to take your red and Come down about, oh, I'd say a third away from the corner, a third inside or outside? Outside of uh, your corner of your eye. That made no sense, but you understand what I mean. So you're going to come a third away from the inside corner of your eye and do kind of like a curved point downward and then connect it. Make sure it stays pretty small. Otherwise it's just going to look like your fish is ridiculously buff. So after you've got the red outline, you're going to want to take your orange again and fill in the middle. Then, still with your angled brush, you're going to want to take some more of your yellow and line the bottom part of your eye with it on the inside of the fin, or to the inside of the fin, by the inside corner of your eye. And just line it there pretty thick so that it's visible. Then you're going to take your orange and do the same thing all the way outside of the fin. And then just like we did with the tail, we're going to take some of the red and line just the outside corner of your eye with it and kind of blend it in toward the fin, but you don't want to connect these. I mean, I guess you could, but I don't want to. And then the fish part is mostly done. Well, the fish part is done. Um, I suppose if you had, like, an orange mascara or something, you could go over your eyelashes with it to make them blend in more. I just don't have one, so I'm obviously not going to do that. The next thing you want to do will be your eyebrow. So, still with the angled brush, you're going to want to take, like, a blue or a teal. I've got a lot of them to choose from here. I just chose this one because it reminds me of more like an ocean blue. And you're going to just take that and fill in your eyebrow make it real nice and dark. This is why we put the uh, primer on the eyebrow too just like so make sure you get it pretty even and dark then you want to take just a sponge or whatever you know and clean up around the outside be real careful not to fudge up your fish. Like so. Oh, there's a little bit over here on the fish. You know, just clean.
clean up any extra whatever anywhere. Alright, then the last thing are these. These are shells, they're not beans, don't judge. Um, they look a lot better in person. Um, but I have like just this little box of like, I don't know if you can see those, but they're just like little round shells. I found them in my grandma's basement, um, and we're just going to use these to make them look like bubbles from the fish, because like I said, they're kissing fish, and they make bubbles when they kiss, I guess, I don't know. So you're going to take some lash glue, and just put three little dots, one by the corner of your eye on the side of your nose, one a little higher and a little farther out, and then one that comes back in by the corner of your eyebrow. Then you're just going to take shells or whatever um, and put them carefully on the glue. And then it's done. And you have makeup great for any kind of like mermaid costume or maybe like a water fairy or something. I used it for Halloween this year. Um, it was really cute. It was like a nude tank top and I glued seashells over my boobs. And then I wore green skinny jeans and tied a fishnet around my waist and glued a bunch of shells to it. And I also had blue hair at the time so it worked out really well. Um, Anyway, I'm not exactly what you'd use this for during, like, this time of year, but, um, I just felt like doing a tutorial over it, because I had several people ask me how to do it, uh, over, like, Tumblr and stuff, um, so I hope this gave you some awesome idea for something you're gonna do in the future, or, you know, whatever, um, and I hope you have a nice day, everyone. Bye!